LWO on WeatherNet. Uh, lift off conditions looking pretty good. ESTS is ready for launch. Ignition. Lift off. Falcon 9 has cleared the tower. Ten, nine, eight. Side booster ignition. Six, five. D minus four, thirty. Three, two, one. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition. Lift off of the Falcon 9. Go Starlink. Angle's pushing down right. Stage one chamber pressures are nominal. Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Vandenberg Space Force Base, carrying our stack of 52 Starlink satellites to orbit. Moments ago, we throttled the engines down in preparation for max Q, or maximum aerodynamic pressure, which we should see in just a few seconds Falcon here. Falcon supersonic. Max Q. We did just pass through Max Q. Now we will have three events happening in quick succession. First, we will have main engine cutoff or MECO, followed by stage separation and second engine startup one. MECO. Stage separation confirmed. And back ignition. You just saw stage separation, main engine cutoff, and second engine startup one. Now, as stage two heads towards its targeted drop off orbit, stage one will execute two burns in order to make its way back down to Earth. The first is the entry burn, where three of the M1D engines will reignite. And this helps to slow the stage down as it re-enters the upper part of the Earth's atmosphere. Fairing separation confirmed. There you can see the fairing halves popping off, revealing our 52 Starlink satellites. We have had successful fairing deployment. Again, SpaceX has reflown Falcon fairing halves since November of 2019. And again, that was our third flight for one of those halves and the fourth flight for the other. We will be attempting to recover those halves once again when they return to Earth. If you're just catching up with us, we have had a successful launch of Falcon 9 from Vandenberg Space Force Base, and you're looking at a live view of Falcon 9's second stage as it delivers our Starlink payload to orbit. Stage 1 is currently making its way back to our drone ship, Of Course I Still Love You, which is stationed in the Pacific Ocean. Now the Merlins on the first stage are optimized for sea level, and these achieve 190,000 pounds of thrust during ascent and descent. And in contrast, the MVAC engine that you see there is optimized for 220,500 pounds of thrust in vacuum. The main difference between these two engines is just the size of those nozzles. On the first stage, Falcon 9 is equipped with four hypersonic grid fins, which are positioned near the top of the stage, and these are used to help steer the first stage as it returns to Earth. Seco 1. We're just waiting for confirmation of a nominal good orbit. Nominal orbit insertion. We just heard the call out for nominal orbital insertion. So next up, we will be having payload deploy at about T plus 15 and a half minutes. The Falcon 9 first stage is also equipped with four landing legs made of state-of-the-art carbon fiber with aluminum honeycomb. These are placed symmetrically around the base of the rocket and deployed just prior to landing. Second stage continues to look good there. 
carrying our payload of 52 Starlink satellites. As we come up on our first stage entry burn here in about 30 seconds, just a reminder, it is a three engine burn and it is meant to slow the first stage down as it hits the thicker layers of the Earth's atmosphere. Stage one entry burn startup. There's the start of our stage one entry burn, 20 second burn. Both vehicles are following nominal trajectories. Stage one entry burn shutdown. We did just have a successful stage one entry burn. If you watch the feed from the onboard camera during landing, um, you can hopefully see the set sticking on the lens. Stage one landing burn should be starting here really shortly. Just a few seconds. Again, this is also a 20 second burn. Vehicles and terminal guidance. Stage one landing burn. Stage two flight termination system is saved. We did just start our stage one landing burn. Stage one landing leg deploy. You can see we did just have successful first stage landing of our 98th overall orbital class stage rocket. Stage one landing confirmed. And this includes both Falcon 9 and heavy first stage landings. So next up, we will be having payload deploy at about T plus 15 and a half minutes. Until then, sit back and enjoy the space jams, and we'll see you soon. Expected loss of signal, Vandenberg. Hi, we were able to actually acquire our ground station coverage in Punta Arenas. At T plus 15 minutes into the flight, we expected our Starlink satellite to separate from the second stage. However, we did not have ground station coverage at the time. We did just pass over our ground station in Punta Arenas, and we did see our uh, confirmation of deployment. And of course, thank you to all of our viewers and all of our Starlink customers using our service at this time. If you're interested in signing up for Starlink service, head over to starlink.com. And for those keeping track, we are anticipating two more launches before the close of 2021. The first is Turksat 5B, set to lift off from Space Launch Complex 40 from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida this evening, approximately 15 hours from now. And the second is CRS-24, or our cargo mission to the International Space Station, scheduled for Tuesday. We hope you'll tune in for each of these launches. As always, thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.